Hello friends, welcome to our channel RF Design Basics. In today's lecture, we will study about combinational circuits. In this lecture, we will cover what is combinational circuit, difference between the combinational and sequential circuit, and what are the steps to design a combinational circuit. First of all, what is combinational circuit? Combinational circuits are logical circuits that perform a, a specific operation specified by a set of Boolean functions. Suppose this is a combinational circuit. There will be inputs and there will be output variables. Here output variables of combinational logic circuit will depend on the present input variables only. The example of combinational logic circuit is adder. Suppose we are adding two digits 0 and 1. So output will be 1 and this output depends on the present inputs only. Now we will see how this combinational logic circuit is different from sequential logic circuit. Suppose this is a sequential circuit. There will be input variables and output variables. So output of this sequential logic circuit depend on the present input variable as well as the previous output variables. So these output variables are stored in a memory element. This memory element stores this output variables and give it back as one of the inputs to the sequential logic circuit to generate the next output. This process is called feedback. So we can say for a sequential logic circuit output depends on the present input as well as the previous output. Example of sequential logic circuit is counter. Suppose a digit 0 is given to a counter, so uh, what will be the output? It will add 1 and generate the output. Output will be 1. So next output of the counter will be 2, next will be 3 and 4 and so on. So how it is getting generated? This output is fed to the input via feedback and this counter adds 1 and generates the next output. Same here, this output will be saved in memory and will be given via feedback to the input and counter circuit will add 1 to it and will generate the next output and so on. So we can see the major differences. For a combinational logic circuit, the output variables depend on only the present input variables. For sequential logic circuit, the output variables depend on the present input variables as well as the previous output variables. In combinational logic circuit, there are no memory or feedback circuit required, but for sequential logic circuit, a memory element is required to store the previous outputs and a feedback circuit is required to give the previous output as one of the input to the sequential logic circuit. I hope the differences are clear to you all. So next is the steps to design a combinational logic circuit. These are the steps to design combinational logic circuit. So uh, a problem is stated, 
Based on the problem, determine the number of available input variables and required output variables. Write the truth table that defines the required relationship between input and output variables. Then write and simplify the Boolean function for each output. Based on the Boolean expression, draw the logic circuit using logic gates. So we will see it again. Based on the problem, we will determine the number of input variables and number of required output variables. We will write the truth table that will define the relationship between the input and output variable. So next step is to write the truth table. Based on this truth table, we will write a boolean function for each output variable and this boolean function will help us in drawing the logic circuit using logic gates. So this is the step to design combinational logic circuit. Thank you.